this is Roland from NetbookNews.com and DE and we're right here at CBIT 2011 at the Asus booth still. And this is the new EPC 1015B, that's one of the new devices with an AMD platform in there. And as you can see, it's either available with an AMD Brothers C30, that's a single core version with 1.2 GHz, or the C50 dual core with 1.0 GHz. And both of them have the ADI Radeon 6250 on the chip, which means you can actually stream full HD video, or it should be able to stream full HD video to external displays without any problems. Um, let's take a look at the device itself. Up there, there's a webcam with the nice slider to lock it if it's wanted. Down here, there's an energy saver button, I think, and the Wi-Fi switch. Over here, there's the power button. It's a nice chiclet keyboard. Actually, really nice to type on, except there's a little flexing in the middle. But, it's to be get used to. And, there's a single mouse button down here, and the mouse pad is nicely separated. There's a couple of LEDs in the front, on the right. There's an SD card reader, typical audio ports. There's one USB 3.0 port and two normal USB ports. The other one is on the other side. There's a Kensington lock and the Ethernet port. Let's go over to the other side. There's the power plug, VGA out, the normal USB port I was talking about, and an HDMI out. The weird part about this device is Asus is actually planning to sell this with either a 6 cell battery, which is great, and it's going to give you about 6 to 7 hours of runtime, or a 3 cell battery that's only got 23 watt hours, so that's probably not going to be that much fun. Um, as you can see, there's only the RAM that's accessible from the bottom, and yeah. Let's see, Asus EPC 1015B with AMD Browser's platform. I'm Roland from NetbookNews.com, and I'll see you later.